channel I'm coming back at you guys with another video and today this is gonna be like a get ready with me kind of I just want to show you guys a updated uh, flawless face routine um, I recently posted this little video on my Instagram stories a few of you guys was like what did you use how is your face so simple and elegant and flawless so I was just like you know what guys I got you let me do this video and um, let me show you what I've been doing for like a everyday flawless makeup if you guys want to see what products I've been using and what I've been loving then keep on watching but before we get started I need you guys to like comment and subscribe hit that notification bell down below so without further ado let's get on with the video guys hey guys how are you i hope all is well it's been i think a week or two weeks since i've been on last my last video was a vlog putting up my christmas tree i hope you guys check that video out if you guys want some affordable Christmas decor or how to decorate your Christmas tree for affordable price and then check out that video I really love that video and I'm looking at my tree right now it's super super adorable and cute and I paid $30 for everything the tree the decor and everything so yeah check that video out I leave a link for that video in the description box down below or just go on my page I'm not sure I understand just go on my page and check out the video it's the it's the last video um so how are you guys i miss you guys so much and i am back with a makeup video i know we haven't done makeup in quite some time let's get started so i already did my brows i'm just going to tell you what i use on my brows really quickly because i want to be a little bit detailed so i use my morphe brow pencil in java it's their micro um thin um thin because they have two um they have a thicker point and then this is the thinner point so i have the micro brow in the color uh or the shade java I've been using this for about five years now guys and i love it pretty much concealed around my brows with concealer it's the one size concealer and i use the shade medium dark two and i'm actually going to use this as a base for my eyes so let's do it right now i'm zooming you guys in closely so you guys can see what's going on with my eyes right here so pretty much i'm just going to dab a few in the eyelid and that's going to be my base and make sure i get here too now you can take a brush or a sponge. I'm just taking a wedge sponge that I've been using for this week. And I'm just going to blend out the concealer. So I'm going to work today. So that's the reason for the video. I just turned on the video, the camera, because I'm getting ready for work. So I was like, you know what? Let me just show you guys really quickly how I do my everyday flawless face that I do for work, for dates, for everyday life if I want to have a put together face. Um, yeah, so this is what I do. Now I'm going to take a press powder. The press powder I've been using, well I've been using for years, is the Maybelline Superstay Press Powder in the shade Golden Caramel. Now this powder is everything. I like using powders like this, so if you're my skin tone, Try, try a powder like this, a golden powder. It just brightens up everything. And I feel like because I'm such a neutral undertone, I feel like I try to welcome golden anything into my face just to brighten myself up. So I tend to kind of just take the sponge that I already been using and kind of just press it into my lids. You know, concealers do crease, so you want to set the entire lid with that. And when you do that, and I've been telling you guys for years and years, is that when you press powder into the lips, if you're using concealer as your base, you want to use, you press it in so it could leave it smooth and it will help you blend out any, you know, neutral eyeshadow that you have. 
So everything is nice and smooth. Now you could leave it like this and you know do your base makeup or whatever. Um, but you could go ahead and do eyeshadow. I'm not gonna do eyeshadow today because like I said, I'm doing my everyday makeup. I do my face right afterwards, after I do this this technique, just to get that base down for the eyes, down pat. We're going to go back in, after I finish doing my face, we're going to go back in with the eyes and we're going to put some bronzer into the eyes. So it's going to be super simple. So right now we're going to move on to the face. So everything I use is in the screen to prep my skin. I moisturize and all of that. Eye cream and all of that. So all the products are in the screen and I will list them down in the description box down below as well. So right now my face is prepped and ready to go because it is cold outside, girl, and I definitely definitely get dry um especially in here right here and i get dry in the um chin area and lately for some reason i've been getting dry right here just right in between the brows so that's something new that's going on with my skin is that dryness right here so i always want to make sure that i prep my skin really well before i do makeup now for primer we're using the fenty um, mattifying primer right here and i'm just going to take two pumps put it together and just put it all over the face Make sure I focus it on the center of my face mostly because that's where I get oily the most. Now I'm going in with the NYX Pump Right Back Primer. It has an electrolyte um, mix and it's a plumping serum so it's going to make you look really nice and fresh. I take two pumps right here and I kind of put it in the chin area, like probably in the outer parts of my face because that's where I get dry. And I make sure I put some in the outer corners of my nose as well. So this is where I put it. So mostly in the center, I use a mattifying primer and then I'm um, in the outer corners of my face, I try to use a hydrating primer. So that's what I've been doing. Now we're moving on to foundation, but I haven't been using foundation. I have been using a tinted moisturizer. And now for African American women, for brown girls, black girls, hello, it's hard to find a really nice tinted moisturizer. I noticed that with the Maybelline Fit Me Tinted Moisturizer, it has been helping me out a lot. It's nice and moisturizing and it just looks really nice. It gives you coverage now, okay? So um, I'm gonna go in with this and I am in the shade 335. They don't really give you a color color, but I'm in the shade 335. I've been really loving it. I've been using this for the past month and some change. Absolutely love it. And I'm just going to put some in my face. The only thing I wish this had was FPF, but it's okay. You can't get everything in a product, right? Especially drugstore. So I'm just going to go back with the sponge. Um, you could use a brush if you want. I tend to use brushes sometimes, but girl right now i'm in struggleville like all all my brushes are dirty and i've been just i don't know i've been in the motions right now i'm just all over the place um i need to really take some time to you know wash my brushes you know maybe i should film that for you guys i don't know if you guys would want something like that to see how i clean my brushes so you can see the color looks pretty nice And I love this. It's nice and hydrating. I'm really into it lately. And look at it. It just looks nice and glowy. It doesn't look dry. You could blend this out with a beauty blender if you want. You could use a brush. I've, in the past, used sponges, beauty blenders. I've used brushes. I've been using this cosmetic wedge. Um, it just blends out beautifully no matter what tool you use to blend. Um, I love this product. And every time I wear it, people always compliment me and be like, your skin is flawless, your skin is flawless. Yes, your skin, your skincare routine does play a part in makeup as well. But for a girl who's have combination skin i have i'm oily and dry at the same time which is a terrible combination um this doesn't cling to dry patches into the face so i really appreciate this 
um, and it's so affordable. I think it's like $10, so you really can't go wrong with that. Look how flawless my skin looks, and this is a tinted moisturizer, guys, so it looks amazing. It evens everything out, and we're moving on to concealer. So the concealer, we're using the same concealer. This is the One Size Turn Up The Base Concealer I use to prime my lids. Um, this is in the shade Medium Dark 2, and we're going to use that to um, conceal the eyes. I've been really into Patrick Star's um, makeup, like the One Size. It's pretty it's pretty good you know um and this concealer is nice and full coverage um definitely definitely try it out been really liking it so that's all i do now to help blend it out or to help sink it in a little bit i tend to take my morphe continuous setting, setting spray and i kind of spray my face period right and then i go back in with the sponge and then i start to blend out the sponge um the concealer i'm trying to go as fast as i can because i really do have work in real life so like time is just going <laughs> you know but it's okay and now my base is super 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 natural um girl okay so I get a lot of creasing underneath my eyes. It comes with age. You know, as you get older, you start to get fine lines underneath the eyes. Um, and I get real, like, I get dry underneath as well. That's why I use eye cream. So I go back in with my Superstay Pressed Powder in Golden Caramel. Same sponge again. I like to press it in. And this is the trick I feel like in the routine that just helped with my skin looking flawless that bright and golden under eye just looks amazing and i've been doing this for so long so i just press it all over everywhere that i put the concealer just to give it like a nice brightened look. Boom. Now I'm gonna go in with a loose powder and I'm going in with the Magic Powder from Charlotte Tilbury. You could take any loose powder. This is just actually, nah, 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 nah. Let's go with the one size um, loose powder. Um, because I've been really liking one size lately. And then I'm just going to use the same sponge. And then I'm just going to press it right underneath. And I'm just going to press it until it disappears. <laughs> and I got this from um, Painted by Spencer. You start out with the pressed powder first, you press it in, go back in with the loose powder, and it's going to help set the under eyes and it's not going to move. Like, I do not bake anymore at all. I feel like baking is so 2018, 2019. It's flawless, okay? Now, I'm going to set the entire face with powder. The powder I'm going to be using is the LA Girl Mineral Press Powder. And I am in the shade Toasted Almond. I got this at my local beauty supply store. still have the price tag. It's $4.99. Super affordable and it's pretty nice. The only thing that I hate about it is that it has a lot of kickback. But for $4.99, girl, please. So, I just press everything into the skin. And this is going to give you coverage as well. 
you could skip this if you don't like to set your face but i like to set my face just as me i like a super matte face How is it looking guys okay oh and I'm sorry the brush that I use is the morphe r3 brush I don't know what's going on with morphe <laughs> you know they've been going through some stuff so I don't know if you could find this brush anywhere maybe you have to go on their website but um they're going through some stuff and some of their morphe stores are closing down which is very very disrespectful for me because I like using some morphe items so you know and you don't really get all the morphe stuff on um they're on Ulta so you know it's 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 you know I'm, I'm very I'm saddened you know I'm saddened but it is what it is so now we're gonna bronze the skin the bronzer that I've been using is my Charlotte Charlotte Tillsbury airbrush bronzer and I use the shade tan 3 love this bronze bronzer I feel like this is just the right tone for me sometimes the bronzers it could get too red and there's times when I use bronzers and everybody's like why do you look so red like no this is just nice neutral golden tone if that makes sense but um it's not too golden it's not too neutral it's like right in between like goldilocks like just perfect so I'm just taking this random brush that I got from MAC I think this was from a holiday collection that I got like two years ago. I like it because it's shaped like this, which is perfect for, you know, bronzer placement, I guess. So I start in the forehead first, just to add some color back into my skin. Um, love this. And it looks natural. Does it look too red? I hate when I see girls and they look too, like... I don't know, too bronze, too red, too muddy. I feel like this is just perfect for me. And I tend to put some a lot, well some, a lot. I tend to put a lot of bronzer on my chin area because I have a lot of discolorization and I don't color correct, I should. And color correcting is really good, but I just don't have the time and patience for it. So what I do is that after everything, I kind of just, dust bronzer in my chin just so it could add some color into my chin because if I don't color correct this area will get get gray even if my the tinted moisturizer I use the foundation that I use even though that it's the right shade and it just works everywhere it tends still to get a gray cast here if I don't color correct so I just put bronzer here just so I could save some time and kind of eliminate that process of color correcting because girl I, I don't got no time I gotta go to work you know so I just dust some in the corners of my nose because I don't really nose contour I like my nose I feel like my nose don't really need contouring but if you guys do nose contour definitely do that for yourself you know try to use some of my techniques and apply it to your everyday life or your everyday routine right but I don't really nose contour because I feel like I don't need it I like my nose just the way it is so so now that the face is nice and bronze, now we're gonna move on to blush. And lately I've been really into liquid blushes. And you know Rare Beauty, they do the best liquid blushes ever. So I've been using this a lot lately. This is in the color Joy. I think she has one that has like a, like a luminous finish. And she has another one with a matte finish. And I got the luminous finish because Lately, I haven't been really into um, highlight. I just like a really nice matte face. Um, so I I got this in the luminous so it could give me like this really nice glow to the cheek without me doing anything, you know? Like I said, I try to not do much. Okay guys, sorry the camera died on me. It overheated, my camera's super old guys. Like it's really old. So it gets overheated and it just stops recording. But I, took, but I thought, hey, while it's cooling down, let me get dressed so I could like save some time. So obviously I'm wearing my work attire. So we were up to blush. So like I said, I used the Rare, the Rare Beauty Liquid Blush. And this is in the shade Joy. And it's on their luminous side. They have luminous blushes, liquid blushes, and then they have all matte blushes. So um, lately I haven't really been into... Um, I don't know highlights I just like a nice matte face that's just me like sometimes it changes you know what I mean so I just put a dot like that 
and a dot like that. Uh, I feel like I put too much anyways, but um, a little goes a long way with this um, liquid blush. Now, I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Stippling Small Stipple Brush. Um, you could get at Ulta, Target, or whatever, CVS. Um, and I think it's like 3 or $6. Very affordable, especially if you're getting into makeup. Definitely try this. And I kind of just blend it out a little bit. People put blushes in different parts of their face. I have a apple... I have like cheeks and I like to accentuate the cheeks. I like to put it in the apples of my cheeks. That's just me. I'm just old school like that. Some people like to put it here. Um, that's up to you. But um, for my shape, for my face shape and what I like when I do my makeup, I like putting blushes in the apples of my cheeks. Just, just, just me. I feel like it just looks better like that. I've tried other ways, to, uh, other placements. Uh, in how I apply blush and to me this looks better for me it, 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 it appeals to me better so um, yeah and what I like about these liquid liquid blushes is that I don't know in brown girls black girls like we tend to eat up blushes it fades throughout the day but I've noticed that when I apply the liquid um, it stays all day and I don't need to set it with anything and mind you guys I put powder and all of that it doesn't disrupt the makeup application that you already did you can put it on top of powder it doesn't do anything I'm just gonna go back with this brush a little bit and kind of just you know reinforce the blush not the blush but reinforce the bronzer again So the face is looking flawless. Now I'm going to zoom in a little bit to the eyes, guys. And we're going to go back in with the bronzer that we use. You can use any bronzer you want. You could use brown eyeshadows, whatever your heart's desire. You can definitely uh, use. I'm just going to go back in with my airbrush bronzer from Charlotte Tilbury in the shade Tan. I'm going to repeat it, obviously, and I'm going to go in with my Morphe Times Jackie Jaclyn Hill brush. This is the JH32, and I believe you can still get this in their website as well, hopefully, but um, take your favorite fluffy brush, and I'm just going to go in in the crease of my eyes back and forth. Um, you could not, you could skip this part and just have like a flawless base if you want. But I just like to add a little bit of definition into the eyes. It depends on what I like to do. Sometimes I like to just put brown all over the lid um, and call it a day. Just back and forth. However you guys feel like you want to do. I'm going to put it a little bit all over the lid just to give me like a nice soft smoky brown. Like a soft brown eyeshadow look. This is how it's looking like so far. And I'm going to take a small brush like this. This is also J Morphe Time Jaclyn Hill JH40. Going back in with the bronzer again, I'm just going to sweep it underneath the eyes just to add a little bit of definition. You could use, you could use um, uh, eyeliner, black eyeliner if you want. But um, I just want everything to be soft. Um, this is a little bit crazy right here so I'm just going to blend it out a little bit more so this is how everything is looking like now we're just going to do um, mascara and lately I've been using the Oma um, Beauty Drama Balm Mascara it has castor oil in it so it's treating your lashes as well and girl as you can see I do not have any lashes so I'm going to put this on and um, yeah, I've been really like it. This is how, how the wand looks like. This is your standard um, wand applicator. So we're just gonna put that in. So this is how my eyes are looking like. So you can see the difference here and here. Okay, girl, okay. So this is how the face is looking like. Super, super natural, still flawless. Your skin looks popping right now. And 
We have a mixture of high and low end going on in the face, which is just amazing. Now we're gonna go in with one of my favorite lip combos. Glosses are my jam. You know, you just find a really good brown lip liner and then you just pop in a gloss and you're good to go. It's really easy to maintain as well. So I've been really into the MAC Lip Liner in Chestnut. This is a OG. It's just amazing, amazing. And I kind of overline the top lip a little tiny bit. And kind of just press it together just to blend it out a little bit. And then we're going to go in with the lip gloss that I've been really liking lately. I've been wearing it for a feet a bit now. So this is Minted Lip Gloss in Pink About Me. I love this lip gloss. It's super, super pretty. And in that video that I showed you in the beginning of my lips and my, my whole makeup and everything, that's the lip product that I use. This is the lip combo that I use, and I've been really liking it. And one thing about Minted Lip Glosses is that they're not sticky, which I really appreciate. Mmm, so, so good in the lips, you know? Alright, so this is how everything looked like. Now we're just going to spray the face. I'm going to take the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. And I'm just going to spray everything, kind of like to melt everything into the skin so it doesn't look like cakey or anything like that. And then the thing that's going to lock the makeup in, it's going to make it last all day, is the One Size On Till Dawn Mattifying Waterproof Setting Spray. Girl, this is literally like hairspray for your face. Like, honestly, ever since I bought this, I bought this at the Sephora VIP sale. I wanted to just try a new setting spray. Guys, my makeup lasts all day. Like, my face looks like this now. When I get home later on tonight, my face will still look like this. This just locks everything in. Like, I love this spray. Hold your breath when you're using that because it's literally, literally like hairspray. So this is it. This is the look. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Super flawless, guys. This is literally super easy thing. Like, this is just my everyday makeup look, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys took a lot of tips on some of the products that I've used in today's video. And let me know, have you guys tried any of these products that I mentioned today? What is some of your OG products that you always use in your makeup uh, routine. Let me know. I want to know. Maybe I've tried it and maybe there's some products that you guys love that I need to try and I'm going to get it because I'm a makeup girl and I'm going to buy makeup. <laughs> That's it guys. Thank you so much for watching and um, I'll see you guys in a few days with another video. Bye guys.